Welcome to Quest for a Meaningful Life in the park down here by the Toronto waterfront. And today I'm thinking about what it means to think about time as if it's space. You know, if you think about the home that we live in, you can imagine a sort of a mental picture of what your house or apartment or whatever looks like, maybe your your town, your city, your environment. You you live in a certain environment of space. But imagine thinking about time the same way. We live in some kind of structure or arrangement or environment of time. Now, when we look at how our languages even talk about time, it's almost always through a metaphor of space. In English, we have before and after, and that's just like in front and behind, front and back. and. Ahead and behind, well, that's like top and bottom or front and back. So it's like, you know, time is such an abstract thing that sometimes we wonder if it even really exists. You know, what is it? Uh, it's so abstract that we can't easily talk about it in any direct way. And so we talk about it by using, by treating it as if it's a space, some kind of strange one-dimensional space I guess like like a string or a line uh, assuming you believe time is one-dimensional uh, as far as I know it seems to be but I really don't know I mean ideas of you know what time would look like in two or three dimensions I really have have no idea but in the common conception of time we have this length of time we have this line you could say where we can place objects along it we can place items along it you know so we can look at it as if we're in some kind of a room or, or an open space and then there are things there so what what does your space look like what does your time look like as if you were describing it like a space now, i could imagine for somebody who's maybe uh, working a very very busy full-time job it might be that their work is like this grand hall because you know they go there every day you're there all day through most of your day and it's like this grand opulent palace of a hall where you step into your work day and of course it's filled with all the work things it may not be a grand open hall it may be very cluttered with work stuff but it's this grand space but then maybe that leaves only a little bit of space left over for your personal life. Maybe in a life that's really dominated by full-time work, there would be a leftover time would be like this little closet, you know, this tiny little space where the rest of uh, your personal life could be, you know. Whereas you could imagine maybe somebody who has nothing going on, just completely unemployed and without a clear occupation or direction in life, then life might appear like uh, an open desert, just sort of just like a vacant lot, like one of those overgrown vacant lots surrounded by a fence uh, that is just covered in weeds and accumulates garbage. You could see the weeds could be things that just pop up to fill your time that really don't benefit you that they're there because they want to be there not because you want them to be there and the the garbage could be well you know if that could be other people can leave garbage on your time other people can dump their garbage on your time they can decide that hey here's something that I want you to do and I don't want to do it so I'm giving it to you so here I'm putting this in your time and you could even see that as you know, being garbage deposited on your time. Yeah. But what would it look like if we structured and constructed our time as if it was a building? And maybe it is like a garden, you know, like where we can cull the weeds and choose what to plant within our time. We choose the boundaries around our time, where we have walls around our time so that we can create we can control the spaces that we have. And by being more intentional about this, we can choose how we want to fill our time. 
we could create a garden, we could create a hallway, we could create rooms for the things that we want in life. And whatever we consider to be important, it seems like it needs a space it, because it needs time. And anything that's important seems like it must need time. If we're not going to give it time, then how can we say it's important? So the structure that, of, this, of this time that, you know, the, the way we imagine structuring our time can really say a lot about what we consider is important. So if there's something that you consider important, but you find it has no, you have no time to do it, then maybe there's too much else in the way. And if we continue the, the metaphor of spaces, I mean, what would it look like to declutter your time just like by cleaning up garbage off the floor? What would that look like in time? And maybe it's, maybe it's more than just decluttering, but an entire demolition, maybe an entire building has to be brought down. You know, if you're in some kind of job or commitment that is not helping you, uh, that is taking up your time without seemingly benefiting anybody, and that might be like a giant derelict building that needs to be bulldozed and reduced to empty space. And then when, when there is this empty space, it's then, it, it is an empty lot. It's an empty lot that we can fill with the things that we choose and have maybe you know you could imagine like a grand uh palace for your time I, I could also imagine like some little cottages like imagine each the things that you want to do in life and that you want to fill your time each of them could be like a little house in its own way it could have its own kind of space they could each be very different now maybe work is like a big city building, but then home is like a little cottage or something. But, the, I mean, this metaphor could go on and on. There's no, there's no limit to it. And I think it can be very interesting to see what it looks like. So, as I usually say at the end of these videos, I'm curious to hear what you think. I'm especially curious to hear for this. What, what would your time look like? What kind of space do you have in your time? How do you picture your time. What does it look like to you?